Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Scenes of Bayek. Today we're going to unpack a little bit about what coaching and mentoring is all about, uh, why this reflective practice is something that we value very much at our centre, and have a chat to some of our teachers about what they think about it. Come and join us, uh, enjoy. So coaching is very different to lesson observations because uh, coaching is all about the teacher inviting somebody else to come and observe them. So it's very much driven by them. Whereas a lesson observation is often a request from an administration person to come and critique you on your work. Coaching is often done uh, with peers, so with other colleagues. However, observations is usually done by somebody um, from the admin in the school. There's a few things that I really like about the coaching process. Number one thing is that it's done with colleagues. So you're feeling comfortable straight up that they're coming to watch you take your lesson. It also develops a really highly reflective practice. So it's driven by you. You're the one who's dictating what you want to be coached on and what you want observed. So it allows you to be highly reflective and think about your teaching practice and what you want to improve. One example through the coaching process that I've been able to refine are my introductions to lessons. I was a little bit reflective and concerned about the level of engagement by students, so I invited a colleague to come in and observe my introductions, and they were able to watch student engagement during that. From there, I was able to take those observations and really refine, refine that introduction process and I feel like I've definitely developed better quality of introductions to lessons now. Where you go? Really tricky question because I enjoy being on both sides here. I enjoy being coached because it's helping me develop as a teacher in my teaching practice. However, it's great to also be the coach as you get to work with other teachers and you're picking up little ideas as you go as well. So tricky one, I'm going to sit on the fence with that one. You ready? As an experienced senior teacher, it's, I remember how tough it was being a beginning teacher. And being a mentor, I can appreciate how confusing, frustrating and such teaching can be. So as a mentor, I find it really important to offer the, that support through either feedback about their lessons, behaviour management, even timing of lessons. Lots of different things, um, I believe, is important in the mentor's role to help guide through those beginning years. Um, I think at our role that we have here is that each week we've got visiting teachers that come in and watch us. Um, so you get used to having teachers coming in and watching you. But the coaching process is, it, it's awesome, because I'm usually coached to being the new teacher here. Um, we have two or three really experienced teachers and they can, it's not lesson observation or looking and picking apart your lesson, it's working together. What went well? What could you do better? How could you improve? Uh, I think it's important to have a mentor, especially probably throughout your whole career, but especially right now as I'm new to teaching. So there's lots of stuff that I haven't done before and all these experienced teachers, they've done, they've seen and experienced all these different experiences. So just having someone I can check in with, talk to, to what, what would you do in this situation? What could I do better? How did that go? It worked really well. The first stage in coaching is the pre-observation chat between the coach and the coachee. This includes some discussion around lesson outcomes and strategies. It is a highly reflective practice. Stage two is important. This is where the coach will come in and observe the lesson and starts to look for specific elements that they have discussed in the pre-observation meeting. Stage three is where the colleagues will reconvene after the lesson and there will be some feedback and evaluation taking place 
there'll be some great discussions had about why certain parts of the lesson were done the way they were. Stage four is fantastic. This offers the opportunity for the teacher that has been coached to create a bit of an action plan to try and uh, improve their practice from that whole coaching process. This is the exciting part. As you can see here, the coaching process can be in a safe, relaxed environment where colleagues can chat. There we have it guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you've gained a little bit of an appreciation of what happens behind the scenes here at Bayek. Our teachers are highly reflective uh, and are always looking to improve their practice. Um, this coaching process is something that can happen at any stage uh, in anyone's career, um, at any stage throughout the year. So something we value and hopefully you've got a little bit of an insight to how it works. Uh, stay tuned for our next episode. Talk soon.